Well, what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and it's no secret, Apple may occasionally borrow a feature or two from Android or the jailbreak community. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think there's plenty Apple can stand to learn in their upcoming iOS 10 firmware. So here are 10 features I wish that Apple would steal from Android. For quite some time now, one of the most requested features on iOS is the ability to set default apps. Say you get a link and you wanna use another browser. Why does Apple force you to use their Safari? We should be able to set other browsers. Also, maps, even many other applications could benefit from being able to set default apps. Now the look and theme of Android can vary device to device, but one thing they can all do is set an app to float wherever you set it to. Why is it that something we can't do in Apple? I mean, the fact that they all have to be organized neatly together, let's have a little bit of a chaos on the home screen. Now this is something I've personally wanted, transparent icons for quite some time now. Not everybody may agree, but I think it's pretty dang cool when apps can have transparent backgrounds, different shapes, you know, they're not just limited to that rounded square that Apple has. Hopefully with iOS 10, which may, by the way, feature a huge redesign, we'll have something similar. Found on some Android handsets, the ability to wake your device with a single or double tap. Like the Hey Siri feature, it will drain a little bit of battery life, but it'll be a small, neat feature to have. This one's been available with Android since the very beginning, the ability to reboot or restart your device without just having to shut it down. I think that's cool. It's not a very big feature, but it would be nice to have. An extremely handy feature iOS is missing is a pasting clipboard. So everything you copy will be available in this little clipboard area for your ease of access. Instead of copying and pasting one thing individually, you have everything at your disposal from this little menu. Super, super useful. Now to change camera settings inside of the camera application whenever taking photos, or videos is quite a process. You used to be able to do it from within the application. However, Apple removed that. Instead, you gotta go to settings, you gotta find the photos and camera options, then go to the options inside, and then you change it, then go back to the app. Apple should take example from Android. Easy to use, easy to access settings from within the camera application. Now the NFC chip available on only some devices is extremely limited. Right now, you can only use Apple Pay with it. However, if you really think of the possibility, what you could do with NFC, there are a lot of uses and in the future could be even more. In particular, the Android Beam feature, which is one of my favorites from Android. And something iOS is lacking is the ability to set a hard data limit. In this day and age, it's extremely easy to go over your data limit. Files are much, much higher than they were before as uh, quality increases, so having a hard data limit could save you from a lot of headache. And a little pet peeve with iOS, notifications that are on the lock screen will go away after you unlock your device. Sometimes Touch ID is so fast, you can't even read the notifications. On Android, they deal with them a little bit differently. They'll stay on your lock screen unless you specify otherwise. Now, this one isn't available over a software update, but I thought I'd include it. Having a notification LED that's multicolor will show you what notification you have based on the color of of the LED, and I know Apple has somewhat of a solution for it, but it's just not the same. So I know what you're thinking. At this point, why not just buy an Android phone instead of wishing to have all the features on an iPhone. Well, I'm interested to see what Apple's take on these features will be, how they'll add them. And there's such little things, you know, this isn't the core of Android, but they would be so nice to have on iOS. They'd enhance the experience and they're certainly something I'm jealous of Android users of right now. And if there's any other iOS 10 feature that Apple should steal from Android, leave it down below. I'd love to hear it from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other iOS 10 features video and have a great day. Peace.